Yo, what's going on guys? Bobby here and today we have a very special new series for you guys. So what we're going to be starting from today on forward is one time a week. We're going to be facing a different North American pro. Maybe we will expand when we run out of pros to face. But for now, we're going to be facing one North American pro and it is going to be gun game. So how gun game works is that every single time you get a kill, you are supposed to promote to the next tier. Now we don't have guns in Brawl Stars, but what we do have is brawlers. So as you guys can tell, obviously this is sorted by rarity. There are different rarities. So we have Trophy Road. There's a good bunch of Trophy Road brawlers, then rare, then super rare, and then it goes on and on and on, legendary until you reach chromatic. Now it takes seven different wins in order for you to move on because there are seven different tiers. Once you win seven, you are the winner. So how this is going to work is I'm going to be facing a pro on Brawl Ball Backyard Bowl. The reason we're not doing the 1v1 map is because it's a wide open map and every single brawler pick is going to be the same. You're just going to be picking the best brawler for range and damage and all of that. And it's not going to be, you know, very diverse or very exciting if I'm going to be honest. So we're going to be doing Backyard Bowl. Whoever gets the first kill is going to win. If you get a kill, you can move on to the next rarity. If you don't, you stay the same rarity that you are, but you can change brawlers. We're going to be facing OG. It's going to be very epic. We're going to get into it. Make sure you sub, leave a like, do all that. And let me know if you guys like this type of video. If you do, obviously, I'm going to be keep doing more of them. But let me know what NA Pro you guys want to see next. So I'm going to hop into the game and let's get this going. Okay, so getting into the first game here, it looks like OG is going to pick Dynamite, and I'm going to go with Brock. Now, Brock has a lot of range, so that's kind of an obvious pick. Um, OG really likes Dyna. It looks like he's going to be hiding behind that wall. I'm just going to move this ball out of the way since I'm probably going to be playing more in the mid. OG is kind of just moving around, you know, doing his thing. He's really focused up. I want to get as close as possible to him, obviously. I know he's definitely using Fidget Spinner. I don't know why I jumped back like that. I probably shouldn't have gonna jump forward now he's gonna use that fidget spinner like i said he would and it's pretty even right now i only have one jump left and my jumps are really important he's gonna hit me over there his super is really scary we definitely don't want to get hit by that super oh no we got we gave him to him this is not looking good for us if i'm being honest right now we're gonna just gonna focus these shots make sure we don't get hit by anything I'm gonna jump forward hit him with two shots over there He's one shot. Okay, still nothing. Now, we don't have our jump, which is kind of toxic. Oh, no. Oh, God. Oh, God. This is getting pretty intense. Going to go for a shot. I'm going to be able to get my super. Going to try and scare him. Oh, I'm not scaring him very well. Okay, he's kind of trapped back there. I probably should have went for that and gone for the one rocket shot. Didn't end up going for it. Going to go for a super over here. Going to hit one... Okay, only hit one. Gonna get another. Oh, I thought I had it there. I don't want to let him. Let's go. And we're going to be able to get the kills. So that was an intense minute and a half. We're going to end this one. And we're going to move on to the next game. Okay, so we took the one to nothing lead. So OG is going to stay on Trophy Road. And we're going to move up into, I believe, the rare column. Okay, so we have Barley, Rosa, Poco, or Primo. So this is pretty interesting. So we have two tanks over here. If we're looking at the common, I believe he's either going to go Colt, Brock, or Bow. Maybe 8-bit because OG's kind of wild sometimes. Maybe Barley might be the move. I'm not too sure. I'm kind of thinking Barley. I might be doing Screeching Solo Poco. Actually, that might be the strat because what I'm going to be able to do is I'm going to be able to gadget myself and go really aggro with the heals. I feel like this is definitely the best one. Hopefully, he doesn't go a tank. The only tank he can really go would be Bull, so I think I'd be pretty well off. So we're going to ready up. We're going to go into it. Hopefully, we're able to beat him. This one's going to be really intense, so let's hop into it and let's see what happens. Okay, so we go into the game, and he's going to pick M. So really good pick by OG, you know, kind of just preparing for the tanks. Uh, Barley would have been a good pick on my end. I think he does have the counter, to be honest, but I do have the Screeching Solo. His super is going to be kind of useless, I feel. This is a really big poke battle over here um none of us really want to give in i feel like my super is more important than his so i might tank a few shots over here he's doing a lot of jukes over here with that wall okay we're each able to hit one shot he got two ticks off of his shot though i'm gonna back up i'm gonna use my gadget and go really aggro okay i'm only gonna get one hit over there he's gonna get a couple so he's in a really good spot I want to get a couple more hits here before I go aggro again. Going to be able to get one over there. He's also going to be able to get one. So he's really close to a gadget for sure. Or not a gadget, sorry. He's really close to a super. He's got to be like one shot off. 
There we go. He's able to get a super. So he's thinking about going aggro. Obviously, I got to heal up because if once I go behind this wall over here, he's going to be able to trap me with his super and get a lot of damage in. I can't let that happen. This is going to be a really tough win for me over here. Uh, moving back. Not able to do much. Again, trying to get another hit. OG's playing this really passive. I can kind of tank a few shots because he already has super, so he's not really gaining any value besides the damage that he's doing to me. I'm able to get one hit over there. Okay, I'm one shot to super. I don't know if he has damage or heal on. Pretty interested by that. Gonna pop my gadget. Gonna move back. So I only have one gadget left. I gotta be aggro with that one gadget. Oh, this is getting kind of sus. We're just going back and forth. I'm gonna play a little bit more aggro here. Move to the side. He just has slightly more range than me. It's so toxic. He has slightly more range and slightly more damage. He's gonna be able to hit that shot. I need to get my hit or my heal. We're like two minutes into this game. I don't even have my super. OG's just staying back. Gonna put up the sad face. Gotta hit this shot. Come on. If I use the corner, it's more likely to hit him faster. There we go. We're able to hit a shot. I'm gonna go into it now. Gonna use that screeching solo. He's kind of trapped. Oh, I'm not able to get the kill though. Can I hit him? No, I'm not able to hit him. So I'm out of gadgets. I have nothing to do here. Oh, this is getting kind of intense. 13 seconds left. He's got his super again. I'm three shots off of super. I'm going to heal up fully. No. He's looking really good right now. I need two shots to get super. I'm just going to run back over here. Going to try and fake him out. Got him. Oh, he's pushing me into this corner. This is where he wants me to go. So he can get that kill. I'm just going to go up. Oh, this is so... I have no clue what to do over here. I have absolutely no clue what to do. I need to get my super. But I can't trap him. He's just going to be able to run away because of his super. I don't... I feel like there's nothing I can really do. He's getting me into this corner over here. I think I just got to try and stay alive. And then maybe pick Barley next game. He's getting really aggro. He sees I'm also getting aggro though. Oh no. He baited a couple shots over there. This is where he's going to go in. I'm going to use my heal. One, two, three. Oh my god. We're both so low. Come on. I'm healed. No, nope. hit him. He's trying to bait me into using my shots. Three, two, no, I almost had him, but he's going to be able to get the win. So OG's going to take that one. We are both going to be on rare now. So let's hop into the next game and let's keep it going. Okay, so here we go into the next game. So he's going to pick Barley and I'm going to go with Rosa. I'm going to switch it up. I'm going to try and connect all of the grass. I had a feeling he was going to go with Barley uh, just because that's kind of like OG style, a little bit more passive, not really a tank player. I'm going to go forward. going to charge a little bit of his super over there, unfortunately, but it's whatever it is what it is. going to connect some grass over here. going to try and get as close as possible. Not going to be able to do anything. He's just probably going to keep his distance like he should be doing, obviously. Um, this is getting a little bit intense here. I'm pretty low. Oh, I think I got him. I think we got him. Oh, he has the slow down. Really smart pick over there by OG for going the slow. If he, oh, That's so toxic. Now, I'm not going to be able to do anything. I'm going to get this ball out of the way. I think I got to bait out all of his slows. There's another one. So, he's only got one left. 45 seconds left. He's only got one slow. Oh, he got me pretty low. I got to back up. Switching grass. Switching back. Kind of just faking him out. I'm basically full HP at this point. He's playing it really passive, which he should do since he is a Barley and I am a Rosa. He's kind of just trying to chip me down. Gonna switch grass. Gonna try and get closer. Oh, he caught. He catches himself in a bad position. Trying to bait out a gadget. I can't do anything. This is pretty rough. I won't even like charge super this game. I'm just gonna be able to get a kill at one point. OG's kind of trapped over here. But he does have that wall. I don't really like that wall if I'm being honest. He's going to use it. There we go. That's going to be his last gadget. Now, that's what we wanted to do over there. We wanted to bait out that last gadget really badly. This grass has been helping us a lot, actually. So, he's got to wait it out. Do what we can. He's really chipping us down nicely, if I'm being honest. Okay, we chilling. Trying to do as much as possible. Going to put up another grass. He's probably going to shoot near him. There we go. I'm going to be able to fully regen. So, we got to try and get him trapped. Maybe in overtime we can do that. 
Um, I can't really juke because he can just auto aim me once I get close enough to him. But he doesn't have his uh, his gadget left. Oh, did I just catch him? I thought I caught him. I think he caught me. No, nope. he's the one that caught me. No, and he's going to be able to get the win. So that's going to be it with this one. He's going to be able to move on to the next tier. So I'm going like, to go into the next game and let's keep going. Okay, so we're going to hop into the next game here. I have been inspired by OG, so I'm going to go with Barley. It looks like he's going to go Daryl, so I'm going to try the same thing as he does. So just, you know, chip away. Now, unfortunately, the difference between Daryl and Rosa as tanks is that Daryl has super, and Rosa super would be useless. Um, he's probably going to be able to win this one, to be honest. He kind of has that counter on me, but we'll see how this goes. He gets his super. Oh, this is not looking very good at all. I'm going to be able to move behind this over here. Going to take that shot. It's going to hit. Let's see if I can get that hit off over there. Going to be able to hit him. Come on. Okay, he's hit. Going to go again. No, he's able to juke that one. Going to hit OG over there. Oh, I'm missing. No, okay, that one hit. I got so lucky with that one. Again, another hit. Gonna shoot this right side. He's getting chipped down pretty low over here. He's kind of stuck. He's probably gonna go for a play. Kind of scared he does. I don't want to go too close, obviously. He's gonna go for a roll. I'm gonna get him kind of stuck. This should be game right here. There we go. That's gonna be game. So I'm gonna tie him up. We're both gonna be on the same tier. Two wins for me, two wins for OG. Let's hop into the next game and let's keep going. Okay, so now moving into the next tier, we have the option of Daryl, Penny, Carl, and Rico. So looking at it, I think Carl would be the best pick because it counters the most. Now, Penny would be kind of annoying. I think we're just going to go with Carl because Carl would be the best choice. Going to go with the speed. Hopefully, he goes Rico. I would like to see him go Rico or Daryl. Um, Penny would be pretty decent and then carl i don't know i don't know why i didn't go with carl the first time probably because he thought that daryl would counter me the best um but yeah carl is probably the most well-rounded pick probably pretty easy as long as you play it correctly i assume he's gonna go it too he is going to go carl so we got a carl v carl matchup over here hopefully it doesn't take too long i'm gonna go for my first shot obviously we're both using the same star power I'm gonna be able to hit him one time he's gonna be able to hit me twice Let's see, I'm going to just back off. Try and get to that full HP. He's going to be able to hit me twice again. It's pretty interesting over here. Going to be able to hit him twice. So he has four total ticks and I have three total ticks. It's six to get the super. So he needs a double hit right here in order to gain his super. He's one shot to super now. Although I don't think super really matters too much in this one. I'm not too sure. He's going to be able to get it there. Yeah, so he's got his super. If he goes on to me, I think I'm just going to be able to get it and kind of just pickaxe or not pickaxe, sorry, roll away, which would actually be better for me. Oh, I'm really not able to hit my shots here. It's kind of sus. He's hitting me really well. Going to go for a nice Carl-like shot over here. He's going to be able to work me down. Oh, I'm able to stay alive. Okay, I'm able to stay alive over here. We're both one shot, so this is kind of awk. Um, gonna try and bait out a shot. Not gonna be able to. Oh, he really hit me there. Are you serious? Okay, I'm forced to back up. I got no play over here because he hit me. Pretty even at this point, although he's definitely had like the advantage. Um, you know, no one's been able to really get a kill, obviously. He was pretty close that one time. I had like 200 health or something. We were both one shot. Trying to get my spin over here. Oh, I thought that one was for sure going to hit. Trying to just get it. Uh, we're both trying to do the same thing, it looks like. Should be able to hit that. How did that not hit? Seriously? Oh, I'm going to be able to get the kill and survive with 24 HP. Shout out to Kobe. But that is going to be it. I'm going to move on to the next tier. So again, let's hop into the next game and let's keep going. Okay, so moving on to the next game. My options here are going to be Piper, Pam, Frank, BB, and Nani. So we have a lot of options right here. Um, so he can go... Oh, wait. Jackie's a super rare? Oh, I so would have went Jackie. I didn't know that. Okay, so I think we're going to go with Piper. Just because I two-shot basically all of these. 
except well i two shot two of them and then the other ones i can i think i can just curve ball down or should i go with bb i'm gonna go with bb because og hates bb i love bb and i gotta prove it's a superior brawler so let's get into the next one and let's keep rolling okay so here we go into the next game and he's going to go penny so it's kind of a game of the brawlers we love but are pretty trash um so i'm just gonna get literally just gonna get hit by that first shot pop gadget and move forward gonna back him into a corner one two oh no <gasps> oh my god oh my god i almost died there no way i almost missed that shot and he would have been able to kill me but i'm gonna take the four two lead that was just simply an out comp and we're going to go over to the next game and maybe I can wrap it up soon and get the W. Let's move over. Okay, so now moving on to the next one. We get to choose between Mortis, Tara, Mr. P, Max, or Gene. Or Sprout. Okay, so he's still stuck on this tier. Um. Okay, so what I'm thinking is... Okay, so Daryl would be very bad against Mr. P. But that's the only brawler that would be bad. Max is a solid pick. Gene is a good pick. I think I'm going to have to go with Gene. I would be a scammer if I didn't go with Gene. If Bobby BS did not pick Gene, I would be an absolute scammer. This is literally the only time I'm ever going to use Spirit Slap. Do not use Spirit Slap. Worst star power in the game. Dev team, please make a better star power for Gene. But let's hop into the game and let's keep this rolling. Okay, so we're going to go in. He's going to be using Jackie. So I was going to pick Mr. P until I realized that Jackie was also in that tier. Um, Jackie's a pretty strong brawler. Obviously counters Mr. P. I have two knockbacks. So I'm going to be able to hit those knockbacks when Jackie tries to speed on me. Going to be able to finesse one shot over there. But I got to wait for him to go out of the grass. Not going to be wasting my, uh, my shots, obviously. I could get a kill here, I think, if I hit a blind pull. But that's not really what we want. We do have our spirit slap now. Spirit Slap obviously is very strong. Does a lot more damage if you hit three shots. OG's playing this one super passive. Gonna be able to hit a shot over there. Gonna be able to hit another one. Gonna go for this. Gonna back him up. Gonna scare him off. Gonna be able to get that kill. And there we go. Gene for the win. Let's move on to the next brawler. Let's keep going. We have two rarities left. Okay, so moving on to the next tier, it is going to be legendary. I have two tiers left. He's still basically at the start. Well, he's more like in the middle. He's got a lot of time to go. So he can choose between any of these brawlers on the screen right now. Minus Piper and then minus the top row. Um, Spike gets countered by Jackie. Carl could get countered by Daryl. Penny. So we're not going to go Spike. I think... Hear me out, guys. I think Crow might be the move. Definitely not going Leon. We're going to go Crow. The gadget is just way too strong for defense. Carry on Crow is the play. Let's hop into it and let's see if we can get that win. So he's going to go Penny. So good thing I didn't go Spike over here. I think Leon would have been able to get us this win. So we just got to chip it down, basically. Get our super. And then jump in with our shield. He's going to be able to get that hit off already. We don't want him to get his mortar. Once he gets his mortar, we're kind of screwed. But he's going to play passive until he gets that mortar. So it's kind of like a double-edged sword over here. Because he does outrange me. Going to be able to hit two shots over there. That's a pretty good start for us. Going to play a little bit passive over there. Going to pop my shield. One, two, three. Oh, no. He's going to be able to get the win if I hit one more shot. I had it, but he's going to take it. So he's going to move up tiers finally. Five wins for me, three for him. Let's move on to the next tier and keep going. Okay, so after looking at the brawlers, there's a few different options here, but... You know, I can't go Crow because it gets hard countered by BB, Pam, Frank, B, and Piper. And there's no way he's going Nani. I can't go Spike. It's hard countered by too much. So I decided to go with the worst brawler in the class. And I'm going to be going with Leon. So it looks like he's going to go B. So not a terrible matchup for me. Um, I got to just focus on the Jukes, I suppose. Maybe use my clones to get closer. When I say focus on the Jukes, I definitely don't mean getting hit by the second shot he takes. Or the third shot he takes. So this is not going very well over here. But I think I'm going to be able to get the edge. Uh, I'm going to be able to use my clones to get closer, obviously. So let's move forward with that. He's going to take two shots to get rid of my clones. He's not giving me any value whatsoever. He does have the, his gadgets as well, which is going to be very toxic to me. This is going to be difficult. 
This is going to be a pretty hard one to win, if I'm being honest. I kind of just got to chip away. He's not letting me chip away. OG's being toxic. He's playing like classic OG. Not much I can do here. Um, again, I just got to try and chip down at this point. Not much I can do. Pretty good shot over there by me. Going to gain a little bit of value. Going to push up a little bit. He's going to be able to hit a pretty good shot. Uh oh, I got to back up. Able to take out his first gadget. I still have two gadgets. He has two gadgets. I'm basically saving up until I get super. I think his super is pretty useless in 1v1. My super is okay. I'm playing pretty aggressive. He's going to run out of that 3k shot. He's going to get it right back. Oh, that one shots me. I got to hide. So I'm just going to go into hiding over here. He obviously wants to use his gadget and kind of pin me up against the wall. Going to focus on the jukes here and just auto away my shot instead of focusing on the shots. He's only got one 3k left. He's going to miss it. I can get a little bit more aggressive now. I think I'm going to pop my clone. He's going to go for a shot on me. Not going to be able to hit anything. He's thinking about using a gadget, I think. I'm a little bit over halfway to super. He's got that big shot now. It's kind of scary. I got to run back. Able to hit a couple more shots over there. He's going to go for his super. Again, like I said, his super is not really that great. He's still got... Does he have that 3k? I don't think he does anymore. I'm chipping again towards my super. Oh, he does. That's kind of scary. Pretty close to the 3k. Kind of just chilling right now. Or not the 3k, sorry. The super. Once walls break, although over time B is probably the best brawler in the game, I think I'm going to do perfectly fine with Leon. He's going to put that gadget down. Oh, did he really hit me with that? Rigged. Okay, I'm so close to super. I've been chipping all game for this moment. I do not want to choke this moment. He's going to try and stay as far away as possible. Trying his hardest not to give me super. I just got to auto aim and chip him down. I think he's starting to panic a little bit. Going to put him back towards his own corner. Good jukes over here. And I'm able to get my super. Here we go. We're going to go in Viz. Riz going to follow this. There's going to be absolutely nothing he can do. And we're going to be able to get that dub. So that one's going to be a little bit difficult. But we're going to get the W. And I'm on the final tier. So let's move on to the next game. And let's keep going. Okay, so here we go. We are moving on to the final tier. So we can pick any of the brawlers between B, Nani, BB, Piper, Frank, and Pam. And I have any of these brawlers, any of these three that I can pick. I think I'm going to be going with Colette. I think I should use shield because I don't want to push them back. I want to keep them in position. And then obviously I'm going to be using this gadget because I don't really have an option. So I have six wins. He has three. I guess it's the first one to win seven 1v1s. But let's hop into the game and let's see what he picks. He's going to go with Max. So Max is obviously an extremely annoying brawler. I hate Max. But if we win this game, we have the dub. If OG ends up winning this, he's going to get the dub. Okay, I think he picked the wrong brawler back. So I'm just going to give him the ball gonna go let him score and we're gonna run this one back i don't know what he's gonna go but i'm gonna stick with colette because colette's definitely the best 1v1 maybe surge could be a little bit better but surge is you know he's a good brawler when you're kind of working with his tears but it doesn't really work out in a 1v1 that's kind of like sudden death because there's really nothing for you to gain uh you can't really be leveling up all the game because you know you die once and it's over so you're basically a level one surge versus whatever so let's see what he goes he decides to go piper now this is kind of toxic since he saw what brawler i was gonna pick Surge would have been better specifically for this 1v1. Oh, this is so toxic. He outranges and out damages. The only way I kill is if I just chip him down and I'm able to get my super somehow. Okay, there we go. That's one shot. So it's 1-1. One, one. I already got him in a great position. I wonder if he's using curveball or not. I feel like he definitely is. I should have kept him trapped. I don't know why I didn't. Oh, this is basically all juking. I have to really outplay him in order to win this one. Which I'm not sure if that's going to happen. Going to be able to hit one shot over there. He's kind of backed up. Oh, he's screwed. I'm just going to face tank it. And that is going to be it. I'm going to be able to take the W. And that is going to be it for the video. So I hope you guys enjoyed. Very awkward place to be doing my outro. But I'm just going to stand in the middle of the map. That is going to be it. Thank you guys for watching. If you guys enjoyed the video and enjoyed this series, let me know. Leave a like. Do all that. I guess I'm idle. Oops. But that is going to be it. You guys know what to do. I'm going to end the video there. And I will see you guys again tomorrow. Peace.